know that the subject matter of this video blog has caught your attention. Why boys can sing higher than girls. We automatically assume because boys want to sing in their lower register that they can't sing high. And uh, that's exactly the opposite. Uh, boys really can sing physiologically. They are able to sing higher and hold notes longer than girls can. So we are going to use reversed psychology with guys, okay? We're going to appeal to the fact that they are physically able to sing higher than girls to help them feel confident to do that. Now, here's the way that you explain it. If a boy has not reached puberty, if he's not started shaving, I could just go up and feel their face and say, oh, you've not started shaving yet. You can sing higher than the girls. And here's why. When a child is young, their vocal cords, okay, this is how if you were looking down into your uh, throat, you would see your vocal cords look something like this, okay? Uh, they're short and they're not very strong, okay? And so if we're breathing like this and we're hardly having any tone whatsoever, it's because our vocal cords are way too loose, okay? But if we get our voice really, really tight like that, ah, 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 you can it's just, it's almost like they'll, they'll smack together, okay? When you're yelling or you're cheering, they'll smack together and they'll actually cause like uh, blisters or what's called vocal nodes, okay? So we want to be very careful not to have our children sing too loud and their tendency is when they're little that that's what they want to do is sing loud. So we want to keep them singing uh, softly, lightly, and using uh, those very small vocal cords properly. Now, as they mature, as they get up into fourth, fifth, especially sixth grade, their vocal cords lengthen out, they're stronger, and they can maintain a tone even more. Okay, so we would sing, ah, ah, ah. After a boy has reached puberty, then all of a sudden his vocal cords get very, very thick. They're not really that short, okay, but I'm just using my thumbs as an example, okay. Uh, at that point, they sing below the octave. Now, I hope you have some guys working with your kids, but if you do, make sure that they sing like a Bee Gee, okay? Ha, 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 stay alive, stay alive, okay? They can even, like, have a mullet and wear uh, a, a polyester suit if they want to. But if they sing below the octave, okay, with those thick vocal cords that they have, then the boys are going to want to emulate them, and they're going to sing below the octave, even though they uh, still have the ability to sing not only above the octave in their natural range, but uh, higher than the girls. So what I say to the guys is, okay, if you're not shaving yet, then your vocal cords look like this, okay? They're nice and thick. In fact, really, they almost look like this if I could get my middle fingers together, but that's not the best example to use with kids. So, as they get thicker and thicker, boys can hold the tone even more. Okay? Now, why do you think that there is a Vienna Boys Choir or a Westminster Boys Choir? Did they not like girls? Did they think girls can't sing? No, it's because that thickness in the boys' vocal cords in that sort of uh, prepubescent age gives them the ability to hold notes longer and higher, okay? So if you can use a little bit of reverse psychology with the boys. Hopefully you can help them, give them the confidence and the knowledge of knowing that until they put that razor to their face, uh, they have the ability to sing more beautifully with longer uh, notes and uh, better pitch than the girls do. So good luck with that. Okay.